Hi guys and welcome to Boss Picture. I'm James Wani and today I'm going to show you how to select and change colors in Photoshop. Today's episode is going to be quite simple and the video is not going to be so long. I'm going to show you how to select a color in Photoshop and then change that color using a hue saturation adjustment layer. So the first thing we need to do is go down here to new layer and then at the top of the screen choose select and color range. At this point you'll be presented with a dialog box. Uh, there are quite a few options in how you want your selection to be presented. Um, so from this drop down here, as you can see, there are colors that might be represented within your picture. However, I'm just going to stick with sampled colors. We can use the eyedropper tool here to sample the color we want to change. As you can see, it only selects one portion. What we want to do is select the whole blue area of the dress. And to do that, we need to select the eyedropper plus tool here. And now, as you can see, we're selecting far more. Okay, very good. And I think that's it. Okay. The selection itself uh, can be viewed in different colors and from the selection preview drop down you can normally select grayscale so that you can view it better and just to remember what is white is what is selected and what is dark is not selected or black matte for example and as you can see the blue area is selected very well i'm just going to stick with none for the moment and i'm going to press ok so as we can see the selection uh, is quite good it has selected a little bit on her chin and a little bit on her hair, but that's fine because we we will have a mask where we can mask that out. So the next thing we need to do is go to the top of the screen and select Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Hue slash Saturation, and press OK. And as you can see, a mask has been created. Very simply, all we need to do is to move the slider to the left or to the right, the Hue slider here. And as you can see, the colors are changing, or should I say the color is changing. I like that blue. And if it's, for example, too blue, you can always change the saturation below, or you can change the lightness as well. So the lightness I'm going to leave the same. The saturation I'm going to increase to, let's say, plus three. And I'm just going to play with the hue slider here. So, okay. I like this, it's more of a burgundy type color. But let me go back to, I like the color of the dress previous, but I want to make it far richer, let's say, okay, like this. And now I'm going to turn off, first of all, I'm going to group these two layers. And if I turn it off and on, as you can see, the dress has been changed. So that is it, very easy to change color on a single area. Of course, you can repeat the step if you're changing multiple areas of color. For example, the background. Another example here of some winter boots that I did earlier, and I changed the blue color. So uh, if I bring up the hue saturation adjustment layer, the palette, and just move the slider from left to right, as you can see, the boot actually changes color. So we have a bit of a greeny color, more of a, a tan color here. And if we go all the way to the right, we approach some purples, lilacs, and even pink, which is pretty cool. Let's just move it to the reds to see what happens. Okay, that's a bit orangey. That's pretty awesome. I like the blue. So to recap, the first thing you need to do is to create a new layer and then go to the select option at the top of the screen and choose color range. 
Then choose the color area you want to change using the plus eyedropper tool. Then create a hue saturation adjustment layer and move the slider from the left to the right to choose your preferred color. That's it guys, hope you found that helpful and comment and leave any ideas that you might want me to create. Okay, thanks for watching Boss Picture and we'll boss you later.